Hey everyone, Joe Malfi here with Master Life by Design and today is Sunday morning and usually at this time I am at church and um, today I wanted to kind of, we got a late start in the day, we had a long day yesterday, Christina and I went out to eat and just got yogurt afterwards and was in a total food coma. So we got a late start to the day but Here's why I share that with you, because I wanted to share about chores and how that can actually play a major role in the success in your life or not, right? I was up in the morning, Christina was getting ready, she had to go do some things, and I actually just I started doing the laundry, I started, well, make our bed, do, do the laundry, made her food, started vacuuming the house, and... I started to think about why do I do these things? First off, where do they come from? You know, <clears throat> the origins of where I was so disciplined and where that happened was, you know, growing up my dad always had this high standard to do, you know, make your bed every morning. And we always had chores on Sunday, Sunday with Frank, we'd throw on Frank Sinatra and we would do our chores or I would do the chores at least. Um, while well, he did other things, I guess more adult things from what I can remember. Then I went off and I joined the Marine Corps and I had, you know, I had things. I had field day inspection. My room had to be white glove inspected, you know, crystal clear and clean in all areas. And so uh, the Marine Corps also wired me. So my dad kind of prepared me for the Marine Corps. And then from there, the Marine Corps wired me to do my chores. So. I can't fathom people who don't know how to make their bed. They really don't. They like wake up and they just have their sheets. I mean, it just looks disgusting. And I always tell people, I can, this, I can tell the direction of your life. I can tell how your mind set up by looking at your bed, your car, and your drawers. How are they organized? Are they clean? Are they folded? Are they organized? Is your bed made? Do you have crap laying all over your bed and on your floor and in, in your car? And so I started, <clears throat> I started to start examining people in those key areas, and I started to find a, a pattern that those people who had didn't make their bed, who um, who their car was a mess, their drawers—if you open them up, they're just clothes just thrown in there. they they were so out there. Their their life was at in chaos, and I started to see this correlation, and I started to look at my own life. And I started to see, and then I looked at other people who made their bed, who had their car clothes, and they had their things, their, their shit together. So I started seeing that, and I made the decision, I started making the correlation that if you would just be disciplined in your day, if you would just have the discipline to make your bed every morning, or to vacuum your place, or to do the dishes, or do the laundry on time. If you would just have the discipline to do your chores, keep your room clean, keep your, keep your car clean, keep your, um, your drawers clean. If you had the discipline to do that, what's happening? Most people will look, overlook this. Oh, it's just making your bed. It's just keeping your house clean. No big deal. You know, it's just how I am. No, bullshit. I call it a bullshit car because here's the deal. When you do those things, especially like make your bed first thing in the morning, the discipline that I have around that, when you do that first thing in the morning, here's what's happening. You're wiring your brain to have a win for the day immediately. So immediately, you're starting your day off with some success and not a failure or not this bitch or gripe or complain that, oh, I gotta go to work. <clears throat> you're wiring yourself for that. When you vacuum your house, how good does that feel once it's over? Right? How clean does it you know, look when your floor is beautiful or when your clothes are folded right in your drawers or your car is brand, you know, just got washed and clean? It makes you feel good. It gives you that win. But here's the deal. The chores that you do in your life have a direct correlation to the success that you're going to have in life because you're, you're installing the habit of discipline. Most people nowadays, I coach so many people around the world, and what I find is they're not, they don't have the trait of discipline. Some do, not all, and I'm, I'm not discrediting the ones that do, but some people don't have that discipline, that trait. And so if you don't have that, how are you ever going to build a business? How are you ever going to discipline yourself to be able to get into promotion at your career or change your career? Or if you have kids, how are you going to raise your kids to be disciplined when you're not? Because kids do what you do, not what you say. So are you disciplined? And... <clears throat> 
I'm sure many of you that are watching this, you could afford to get someone to clean your house for 50 bucks, you know, every two weeks or, you know, something like that, 10 bucks, 15 bucks an hour. And we can certainly do that, but I don't like to do that. Christina loves to do that, but I don't like to do that because I like to discipline to make my bed each day, to do the dishes, to vacuum my place, to fold the laundry. In fact, you probably hear the laundry going in the background. I have some music trying to drown out that, but uh, you guys can see here my um, my screensaver. I am financially free, just affirmations everywhere. You can see the vision boards of Christina's behind us. Um, but just going back to the discipline, your chores, if you don't, if you're not being consistent with your chores, if you're not de developing the discipline, the determination to make your bed and all those things, you are robbing yourself of success. Now there's gonna be people out there, well Joe, I don't make my bed, I don't clean my place, and I still have success. I high five you, I congratulate you. You are the infield fly roll to this, but from what I've seen in coaching so many people, is it that if you don't have that discipline trait, you're never gonna to get to where you wanna be in life. So, the Marine Corps installed this in me. We had to do it every week. There was penalties if you didn't. My dad, punishment would come, and I am so grateful for it. Um, the, the values that he installed in me, and the military installed in me. <clears throat> Jen, I'll get to your comment here in a second. Uh, but here's a, here's the deal. Many of you are like, Joe, I don't like doing this. I hear this all the time. I don't like to be disciplined. You know, I don't want to make my bed. That's not who I am. But what is it robbing you of by not being disciplined with your chores? What are you missing out on? Because you are not going through and following through and having the, the satisfaction or the celebration of a clean place, a clean car, a nice bed, fresh clothes. What are you robbing of yourself? So here's my suggestion. My suggestion is pick one thing that you're going to commit to every day, whether it's making your bed, whether it's you know vacuuming your place, doing the dishes, whatever that is, cleaning out your purse, whatever that might be. Pick one thing that you could start to build on each day to practice instilling determination into you and that discipline because here's the deal what I know this is so funny what happens to most people is they say I'm not clean or I'm not that type of person and when you say I am you're actually rob you're creating this new identity and you're robbing yourself of your future identity and all the benefits of it you know so when you say, I'm not this way, and this isn't just in your chores, this is in every area of your life. When you say, I am, those are some, the two most powerful words in the English language, in the world, I am. And so when you say, I, I am not that type of person, I don't make my bed, you're starting to claim yourself as this identity and wire yourself to say, hey, here's who I am or I am not. And that's dangerous. So that's why I give you the challenge of pick one thing, if it's, and I would encourage it to be make your bed every day because it gives you that instant win. And when you can, you can build off of that win throughout the rest of the day. So pick one thing, my recommendation is your bed, make your bed every day. Start being disciplined in that chore for you each day. And from there, you'll start to see, you'll start to see yourself as someone who's consistent, who's disciplined. And then when it comes to building your business or getting that promotion or, you know, being even more effective in your relationship or with your children, all of a sudden, you're now starting to see, I am that type of person. And you start to own that identity and that's where things start to shift. Too many people are undisciplined in their life and that's why they're always wishing they were somewhere else. But they're afraid to do the work because discipline means you gotta give energy towards something. Most people nowadays don't wanna give energy. So what is it? what area of your life are you robbing yourself by not being disciplined? Because you don't have the foundation of chores. Look, if you're a parent in here, <clears throat> and I don't have kids, but I was a kid, <laughs> and I coach people with kids. If you have children, the best thing you can do is teach them to have chores, to teach them the skill of discipline. Watch the Karate Kid, right? Mr. Miyagi, wax on, wax off, right? And I know it sounds silly, but the Karate Kid was learning discipline in that moment for future, future successes down the line, that if he didn't have the discipline, he wouldn't have been able to have the success that he had. So maybe some of you grew up without having to do chores. Maybe you still don't do chores. I'm not outsourcing, I'm not leveraging my chores 
Because I like to have the di discipline and wiring that in and realizing that's who I am. I am a man who is disciplined, not just in his tours, but in his finances, his career, his love for his wife. I'm disciplined in all these areas and I want to make sure I have something, even if it's this small, to keep me going, to keep building that or holding that foundation in place. And it carries into my clients and into building my business. So what is it for you? Where do you need to be more disciplined? Where could you start to implement chores into your life to start giving you that foundational component that you might be missing so that you can have the success that you want? Because many, thing, many of you out there, I know, you're robbing yourself of your chores and you could see it in the success in your life. Oh yeah, you have success in your life quote unquote, what you think, but you're not fully fulfilled. You're not fully happy because when you are disciplined and you do make your bed, you do do your chores. Afterwards, you have this fulfillment. Like I did something, I created something and it's so powerful. And many of you are robbing yourself of that emotion. That's why when I start all my coaching calls with my clients, I always ask you, what do you have to celebrate? What did you have that went well? Or what do you want to acknowledge about yourself? Because that starts to ingrain this identity in them and it starts to get them into this emotional space of, oh yeah, I did do that. I did have this accomplishment or I did think this way that was different than our previous call. <clears throat> so where are you robbing yourself? <sighs> Excuse me. So pick one area. Jump into that. I will tell you, this has been one of the foundational components for me. You know, I when I make my bed, the Marie Corps has instilled this in me. I don't like one wrinkle on my bed. If Christina lays on my bed, pff, or on our bed, excuse me, and she just gets up, I'm like, oh, I gotta fix the thing because I'm disciplined. I have high standards. Not that I have these expectations where she has to always meet these because she's not perfect and nor am I. But I have these standards that I've raised in the bar of my life. And it starts with the little things. If you can't do the little things well, how are, how's God or the universe ever going to bless you with more if you can't do the little things? So that's my recommendation. I'm going to go back and check out some of these comments here. Uh, Jen says, I, I love a clean house. The chores throughout the uh, little chores throughout the days make me happy to come home to a nice clean house and less things to do right exactly you feel so good when you come home most people are robbing themselves of that and what they do is they come home to a messy place might have had a long day might have been frustrated at work and all of a sudden they come home and they find out that they're just blah they're miserable they're tired and they don't understand why maybe if you start to raise the bar in your life the standards in your life and you start to do the little things well like these little chores that you can do, it can change. Uh, Turin said, uh, speak, great wisdom, my friend. Great great meeting you yesterday, Wayne. Always looking forward to your live uh, broadcast, thank you. Uh, the foundation is everything, how you do anything is how you do everything, absolutely. We, tell, we share that with clients all around the world and it's so true because people think, <clears throat> I'm gonna half-ass it at work today. I'm not gonna give everything I got because I'm not getting what I want. What you think what you fail to understand is that you're actually robbing yourself not the company you're robbing yourself because how are you gonna shut that switch off and then go out there and build this great business you know I used to do this in network marketing all the time I used to be miserable I can't wait to get out of my job I can't wait to be free I hate it here gosh I you know this guy's a jerk my manager sucks all this and then I was expecting to go out there and meet people and that want to join my team and bring that energy in, <clears throat> no way. No way, I wouldn't do my work. I wouldn't be disciplined at my work on the little things I needed to do because I, oh, I could skip this or I don't have to do that or I could shortcut this. And then that would carry into me going out there and trying to meet people. Oh, I could skip doing this. I'll just text them instead of calling them. These chores can give you the discipline that you need to go out there and do everything to the highest standard. And when you learn to do things at a high standard and you have that discipline, there's no such thing as luck. Luck doesn't come because you're prepared for your success. You can receive it because you've been working towards it. You've been disciplined and doing the little things. I always used to say this and then I'm going to wrap up here. You know, when most people are going at it together, at some point someone lowers their standards and the other person keeps their standards in place. They're disciplined, doing their chores, going out there, meeting people, talking to people, growing their business, learning material, personal growth, why this person stops. And all of a sudden there's this large gap between the two people. And the one person who stops says, how do I 
how did you get there? How did you get to where you are in life? It's almost impossible to get there. How'd you do it? Because they stopped. They can only see right in front of them. Why the other person just kept their head down. They stayed disciplined. They did their chores each day. They developed a trait of discipline. And all of a sudden, they stayed disciplined in the little things in their life. And as time went on, all of a sudden, they started to grow in this level of success that most people say are lucky. And it's bullshit. I, I did a post yesterday on Facebook. It says, who needs luck when you have the favor of God? And the favor of God is poured upon you, but it's poured upon you through the faith. And so faith is the substance of things hoped for. And so faith is, you know, walking by faith, not by sight. So it's like, it's not saying, oh, I'll be disciplined when I see the money in my bank account. That doesn't work. <clears throat> it's saying, oh, I'm going to be disciplined and know and have the faith that the money is going to come as a result of my discipline. If I do my chores and I develop that trait of discipline, all of a sudden I'm starting to ha create this faith that it's going to come through the consistent efforts that I do on it each day. And all of a sudden you wake up a year down the road, two years, five years down the road and you're like, wow, where did, how did this happen? How did I create this life? And that's what Master Life by Design is all about. So. Um, if many of you haven't gone to Master Life by Design, let me share with you, see if you guys could see this. You can go here, Master Life by Design, go ahead and click your free ebook, Three Easy Steps to Mastering Your Life by Design, a little welcome video, our latest blog that Christine and I did, Top Relationship Advice to Realign with Your Partner, The Power of Vision is a powerful blog that we did too. You can see the pillars of what Master Life by Design is all about. If you're interested, you can go to our services, check out that. You can see my computer actually will go to some of the testimonials. You can check out some of the testimonials if you'd like. It's running a little slow. Um, I think because I have so much going on on my computer. You can see the Mr. Shirt. I think uh, one of our friends, one of our friends got a, these for us at our wedding, which was really cool. So, leaving you with this: figure out what are the chores that you haven't been doing that you need to do. Got cut off. My queen was calling. Uh, what are the chores that you know you need to do that you've been putting off to develop discipline? Go ahead and figure out what that is. Pick one. Start doing it every day to develop the trait of discipline. And once you do, watch over the course of time, watch how you start to grow, watch how your success, and I don't mean just economic success, I mean success in your relationship, your business, your career, your, your emotions, watch how that grows. So as always, I just want you to know that you are loved, you are more than enough. Anyone who says you're not puts you down, they are wrong. You are powerful beyond measure, you are a bright soul in this world, you wouldn't be here if you didn't have a purpose here. I, I, I totally believe that with all my heart. You wouldn't be on this earth and alive if you didn't have a purpose, and you have a purpose. So even if you don't know what that is in this exact moment, there's ways to figure that out, and we can do another video for you, but you have a purpose. You have something to deliver to everyone, and there's at least one person I know in your life that when you walk into their house or you walk by them or you call them or text them, they put a smile on their face because just because it's you. So you're a winner. You've always been a winner since day one, so remember that, own it, and love it. So, Joe Moffat, Master Life by Design. I'm going to go watch my Eagles win today. So, have a great one. And remember, make today count. Have a good one.